Okay. Hi, this is Harish Pali from Technofed.com. Any app or launcher is ranked on two parameters, user interface and user experience. In my opinion, Yahoo AV8 ranks outstanding on both these parameters. Let me now head over to computer to demonstrate the same. For ease of this tutorial, I have connected my Android device with this computer. I am going to play store, search for Yahoo AV8, Yahoo AV8 launcher, install, accept, it's a 14 MB file, open, AV8 simply fire your phone, start, a simple new layout for your phone, drag from left to right, apps automatically organized for you, drag it again intelligent information throughout your day and then tap on next now select av8 and then press always for best experience which is okay got it use av8 as home always okay there are a variety of wallpapers so you can choose let's say i prefer this one and i'm selecting it and okay from this point you will start discovering the reasons why AV8 is the most popular launcher that's available today. AV8 will detect when you are at home and surface useful information. Let me now set up my home location. Tap on this. It's automatically picking up my home address. I just need to tap on set home location. If I was not at my address, I can use the GPS and set my home location easily. Set home location. I can now fix my work location by tapping on directions to work. Type the work location address here. Let's say it is DLF Cyber City Phase 2, Sector 24, Gurgaon. Incidentally, this is coming on the top. I can set this as my work location easily by tapping on this. Immediately after choosing my work location, it has started showing me the time it will take me to reach work and the kind of traffic. I can tap on it and see the navigation. This is how it works. I'm going back. This option of do not disturb surfaces in the morning from 7 am to 12 noon. To put the phone on silent mode, I just simply need to tap on it once and it goes to silent mode. And if I want to take this out of silent mode and make it normal, I just need to tap again and this goes off. This app has automatically picked up details from my calendar. I'm scrolling this up and here's a meeting planned for 12.45. And these are the attendees for that particular meeting. I am tapping on this contact all attendees. I can simply send a mail to them. Let's say I am typing please ensure we start on time and send. So this mail goes to all the people who are attending this meeting. Similarly, I can also view the event by tapping on this view event. It will open Google Calendar and show the event. And this is the temperature in Delhi today, 22 degrees. And this is how is it going to be throughout the day. And here are the top 12 news articles for the day. I can tap on it. This will ask me to install Yahoo News Digest. If I need to install it, I can do that easily. And it will start pushing news on a daily basis. Only thing is that these news are mostly from US or from Europe. So it's actually not specific to a country. As of now, I am not doing it. Going back scroll down and these are the scores of the match which is going on between West Indies and Sri Lanka test series. With regard to the news, you can still read this news by swapping from right to left on the news and this will start moving from 1, 2, 3, 4 onwards. Just tap on it and you can easily read the news. Let me now tap on the time which is appearing on the top center and this will take me to the home screen. Here is my home screen. This is the wallpaper I had selected. Now, if you really want to change the wallpaper, simply tap on the screen and hold it. Tap on wallpaper. I can choose wallpaper from my phone gallery or there are some recommended wallpapers. I can also choose from a huge range of categories which are listed out over here. Let's say if I'm interested in games and I want to pick up one from the games. This one seems good. Tap on it and select it. So this becomes my new wallpaper. Similarly, I can tap it again, hold it and add widgets. Let me now share the capabilities of the search bar that you see here on the top. Tap on it. 
I want to make a phone call to Ashish. So I am now using this keyboard for typing Ashish. A S H I S H. This is a colleague of mine, and this name appears Ashish R G. I simply tap on it, and here I am. Just tap on this, and phone call will be connected. I am going back. This search bar also works as a Google search for me. I tap on it and search for, let's say, buy shoes online. And here are the results from the search engine. I go back. If I need to send a message to someone, I simply need to tap on the search bar and type message here. And I can see messages. Tap on this, and this opens my mobile message box. So I go back. Similarly, if I want to open settings. I just simply need to tap on this and write settings here. I can now open Google settings or my phone setting, whatever I want to open. These are the settings. So now I go back again. Let's now explore the settings. Swap your home screen from left to right, like this. Again, swap it, and you will see settings there. On the top, there are various options. Let's start with settings. My battery is charged to sixty-one percent. I can move on to power save mode. I can also see the utilities by tapping on this. And these are the utilities. Go back. There are other things. There are three types of themes that I can choose from. Currently, I it is set to transparent. I can choose dark light. I'm being keeping this transparent. I may go ahead and change my icon pack by tapping here. And you can choose from a huge variety of icon packs that are available on the Play Store. Going back. My home and work address is already set. Go back. Last application that was opened was settings. So this I can change to settings. I tap on it and back to that. Now again tap on these three horizontal little lines. Let's explore about other options. Morning, moving, listening. Morning. We have already seen all this. Do not disturb. Time to traffic. News. Tap on this again and let's explore moving. You can add Facebook widget here and can also explore other. widgets related to transport like google maps i have got where am i app already on my system going back settings and again tap on this menu listening will give you access to music and videos that's on your phone let's tap on work it's super easy to create a new event on google because i already use google calendar on my device i simply need to tap on new event and create the event and going back similarly i can tap on this send email and this will directly open my in email inbox which is there on my mobile and i can easily send a mail to anyone apps which are linked to productivity are grouped under productivity category i'm opening this and there are various apps that are assigned under productivity closing it we have already seen this google calendar appearing here and this score we have already seen now again tap on this home will take you to the home screen and nearby if i tap on it this will open the nearby restaurants temple bakery nursing home and host of other things it's powered by four square let's now go back to the home screen let's now explore this menu on the top right tap on it various categories open utilities we have already seen then there is the social so there are various apps which are automatically put under various categories depending upon its nature so there is studying entertainment and finance Now if I go to Play Store and download a app on finance let's say this is money control money money control markets on mobile that's right install so what I want to show is this will automatically move into finance category and if it is smart enough to understand that this belongs to finance category so it put it to the right place open let's go back home screen again tap on this scroll up and i can see money control that we have just installed right under finance category I can also move these apps for example if I want Google Chrome to appear under social I can do that very easily by simply drag and drop drop it under social and it's there within the category also I can move an app from second layer to first gear for example if I want to move photo editor to first layer simply drag it to first and it will be arranged accordingly minimize this go little down and if you want to add a new category simply tap on add collection and a new category will be created if you don't remember the name of the app that you have installed you can check that easily by tapping on this a to z on the top right and it shows up all the apps set in alphabetical order if i now tap on the last 
x y z it shows me all the apps that start from x y and z let me now show you how to set your favorite contacts for that go back to home screen and scroll from bottom to top with your finger and these are the contacts that i have called in the recent as of now there are four minimum that i have to choose so let's say i am choosing any four and okay i can save up to eight so these are the favorites that i have chosen and these are some of my recent contacts let's say aarti is appearing here as well as well as among my recent contacts if i want to move a recent contact to favorite i simply need to drag it and move it it's there similarly if i want to delete a favorite i can simply tap on it hold it and take it to the top to remove it from favorite if i wish to add a new favorite simply tap on this plus sign this opens the phone memory i want to add this contact it will landline and this moves into my favorite to make a call to a favorite tap on the favorite name and simply press the call button and if you wish to send a message tap on the favorite let's say i want to send a message to kapil i will simply tap on it and then this message icon and it's already there in my sms inbox so these were some of the useful and good to know features of yahoo av8 so more you explore i am sure you will start liking this launcher i hope you found this interesting do give it a thumbs up also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching